last year we already discussed it a bit. You uh, wrote, uh, wrote a memoir about the things that happened. Um, was that meaningful to put things in perspective? Did you learn things about yourself you didn't see before, perhaps? It was a really honestly. I, I got the, the you know the note from my agent in London, and she said the Guardian wants you to write a memoir about your surgery and surviving and and she said it'll be good you know people will it'll be good for uh, book sales or the new album and stuff so I was like okay I'll write this you know this this I can do this but I was at first I was really like afraid to, to open that door to that time but I as soon as I started to write I I spent three days just like you know, writing and interviewing my mother, who was there. This is 1989. I was 12 years old, and my mother, like, she's the one who saved my life. And I didn't really realize where I was going to go with the with the memoir, but it really it centers around how my mother's love saved my life. Um, she wouldn't let me die, and uh, although I had had this memory in my brain and I knew a bit about it growing up. I didn't really ever sit down with her and ask her the details of what actually happened. So um, for, it was what turned what turned from a promo opportunity in the Guardian, you know, turned into uh, a real catharsis for me and a healing exercise to write this piece. So it was it was. Uh, really uh, transformative for me and, like I said, a real medicine to just uh, get to finally thank my mom, you know, for, for saving my life and uh, properly thank her and to understand the, the, uh, all the circumstances. Why hadn't you talked with her before about this? Well, I had her, she, we had talked a little bit or she had told me bits and pieces of what had happened, but uh, maybe I was afraid, or, or or maybe I was just maybe she was. Everyone was happy that I survived and I was alive. It was a it was a brain surgery, an experimental brain surgery that was like, you know, I died for five or six minutes on the table. So uh, I think it was so scary for everybody, so frightening that we just were like, that was then. This is now. Don't talk about it. You're okay now. Just live your life. Don't worry. You know. So it was a lot of buried, buried emotions and buried uh, memories and uh, fears that I had to face. And writing this piece was the thing that helped me um, really come to peace with it. Really find peace about it all. So. And uh, having a daughter really helps me to understand, having a child helps me understand how helpless my mother must have felt. And, you know, I was, I was in grave danger. And uh, I never appreciated that. How, I, I appreciated it, but not, I, not as much as I could now that I know how it feels to have a child and you are, you are their shepherd, you know. and. Uh, you have a great task to keep them safe. Is there a, a distinction between your artistic life and your personal life, or do the two blend together? Yeah, they do blend. Um, I'm a very private, I mean, I'm very out, outgoing and I do share about my life, but I'm a very private person. I like solitude, I like being alone. I live in the woods, I live in a quiet place out of New York City. And uh, I feel like it's the job of the poet and the songwriter to really to be honest and to tell how, the feelings of your heart, even if you hide it in metaphors or, or if you speak um, just candidly about your own experiences. But uh, I think it's important for that for the two things to blend together: your, your artistic and your your private life. I mean, um, you know, Ernest Hemingway s says, "Write what you know." That was his code. Write, write what you know, and I try to stick to that. Well, the record is 
out there now, or it's it's done. It's not out there yet. But what what will be the next artistic endeavor? This album is the debut of my new life as myself. So this is the first uh, album of hopefully many to come of of, of me, uh, my songs and my my work, um, my pure vision. Um, I'm starting to take notes for a new novel, and I'm starting to write songs for a new Simon Felice album, and uh, just chipping away at the chipping away always at the big weird sculpture of life. Just, just, just you know. All right. Thanks. Cool.